I'm Dr Caroline West. I'm a GP with more than 30 years of experience working with people with HIV. HIV is a virus which attacks our own immune system, our body's natural defence against infections and cancer. While modern HIV treatments have done an incredible job in suppressing the virus, allowing people to live much longer, healthier lives, it doesn't eradicate it completely. Now I'm here today to meet Professor Sarah Palmer. She's hoping her research into HIV and where it resides, where it hides out in the body, will one day lead to a cure for HIV. So where did your passion for HIV research come from? It came from my mother's kitchen in Kenya. My parents lived in Kenya in the early 1990s, so when I sat down to have coffee with them one day in the kitchen, I was looking through the newspaper and I started reading that there was a lot of obituaries for young people. And the, the obituaries stated that they had pneumonia. And I kept saying, why are these young people who are 16, 15, 17, 18 dying of pneumonia and so many of them? And my mother said, oh, Sarah, it's not a pneumonia. They're dying of HIV. And right then, I knew I had to do something about HIV to stop this disease and all the, the suffering that it was causing worldwide. So it's a very unique virus that it does insert its own DNA into the cells, in your, into your immune cells, and just takes over those cells. So if we can find a way to remove that, those remnants of HIV DNA from those cells, we could eliminate HIV from the body and from patients and cure them. So what would you like to see your work leading to in the future? I would like to see my work leading to a cure within the next decade. Uh, myself and, and collaborating with people worldwide, our dream is to have a cure for HIV within the next decade. What will lead to this cure is funding. So the, if we could have additional funding, which would help us to, to, to really pinpoint where the virus is dormant in cells, and use new technologies and treatments to target those cells containing that dormant HIV, then we could cure patients. So funding would be very important to allow us to continue on with our developing our new technologies. It would also allow us to expand therapies into new therapies such as nanoparticles that could be programmed to target those cells that contain dormant HIV. And finally, funding could help us then um, make these technologies available worldwide, especially in the developing world where HIV infection is most widespread.